Alright, welcome back to episode 64 of Southern Cross Station. As you can see, our uh, unit is still going strong. I brought the other trailer out here. You can't see it because it's way over there. But uh, I did throw one thing of cotton on it. Um, the other things that I did in between episodes is let's get down here to... Uh, well, there, there you've seen it, but... Um, we got the other trailer, the one we're not using anymore. So we're gonna sell that off. Done. Okay, so that puts us back. I guess we should have repaired it and painted it, you know, and stuff, but I don't care right now. It wasn't worth that enough to really do it. Now this should be, I gotta look, before we actually uh, sell this, I gotta know how big this one is and uh come on, let's get around the garbage can we don't need the runner on top of it um okay so we're just gonna quick look here um where is our cultivators it is um 12 2 wide and then the other thing i need to look at is our large tractor so Almost 700 horsepower. Okay, so let's jump back out and sell that one. And then we're gonna find a new one. Uh, we aren't gonna use it immediately. We're probably gonna use it today, but uh, let's go ahead and repair that. Um, so it says it's worth 41. If we repaint it, it needs to be worth at least 60,000 afterwards. Okay, it is, so. We'll sell that. I mean, we're not really making a whole, I mean, we made like, what, extra 3,000 off that? Okay, so, um, I I know there, well, that's, I'm on the wrong page, that doesn't help um, cultivators. Now, um, we had this one, you know, which was 12.2. Um, there's, that one's 14, that one's 15. I think there's some other ones way out here that we have. 14, 14. I think, yeah, no matter what we do, we're not gonna get a, uh, you know, anything. I mean, it's gonna be monstrous, but still, you know. What is that one? That one is eight. That's 18. I think that's probably the best. I mean, it's a case IH, but, you know, we're just going to have to deal with what we can put on the farm or what we can't. Um, but that's the biggest one I've found so far without going and uh, doing anything. So we're going to assume that we're getting that one. I'm not going to grab it right now because I got other stuff I want to do before we... Uh, I mean, because this thing is only, you know, like I said, it's only, well, it's, I guess it is pretty big, isn't it? It does have a, um, I don't see what they did. Oh, it's, uh, the way it does down there. Okay. Oh, uh, don't need that. Anyway, um, we're not going to, we're not going to purchase this immediately. We're not going to purchase it until we're ready, and I'm going to see. I swear there's a cultivator that is really, really wide that unfolds, you know, like our weeder does. So I'm going to look on, uh, you know, online and see what I can find. Because, yeah, because this one was only 14, and that one's 15, and the other one's 18. You know, but it's a big jump up from 12. But I... I swear there's a 20 footer but the, it might just i might just be thinking of this that i have on another map but we'll worry about it uh, if we need it today we'll get it today um first thing i want to do is i want to get this all done oh what is it control x so we've got a we've got uh I think we still actually have the, um, whoops, why did it do that? I didn't want that up. Oh, the back one should go down. There we go. 
So we're going to get this field done today. I think the one field we actually had done, we just uh, didn't go back over there and pick the grass up off the field. Now it's ready to be mowed again. So we need to just mow it and then not have to worry about it. But, uh, you know, you know, because it'll still, we'll get double the grass off it, you know, so that's fine. You know, and of course we'll need that other, uh, trailer that we had once we get this all done up, so. I, I've never quite figured out why these things miss so much spot when you turn. You know, it should be mowing when you're turning, but whatever, you know. I'm thinking down the road we might get the... You know, the big mower where it's actually, you know, its own self-propelled mower. You're not hooked to a tractor at all. And, and that thing does seem to do a better job, but I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But let's go ahead and jump into the time lapse, and I'll see you when we're done. finish this time uh, might have to come back for a small amount but nothing fancy now I was thinking while I was mowing this uh, maybe the way to go would be to get a forager because I I think even when it's uh, chaff I'm not positive but I think we could feed chaff to the sheep it'd be worth it to try you know Um, but yeah, you know, I haven't decided if that's a good idea yet or not, but you know, you know what? Um, no, we're going to need it here. So I'm going to take and, uh, drive through into here and, uh, looks like the back one's going to come off first. So we'll drop that. So we're going to go over and get the, um, the wind rower and we're going to wind row this and then, uh, you know, we'll go right over here and get the wind roar. I completely forgot it was right here. Well, that's kind of convenient, right? We brought it over here for something. I don't remember what, but we did. So, uh, that thing's going here in the very near future, uh, you know, like I said, when we do the big fields, we're, we're using the seed hawk. We're not, uh, but what I'm hoping to do is that, uh, oats and whatever we put in, the uh, oops, shoot, there we go. Whatever we put in field one is, you know, ready to go on, or, you know, is, is planted on the same day type of thing. I think I can do this. I, I hate to just do back-to-back -back, uh, time lapses, but uh, if I feel we need one, I'm just going to go ahead and go to it. But uh, I think we can pretty much do this in, you know, a couple passes up and down the field. It'll be when we come back with the, you know, something else, you know, with the baler or a, a wagon, um, because... We don't really need um, to bail this. That's the thing. I was thinking about just uh, loading it all into a wagon and go from there, you know. And uh, But to do that, we have to buy a wagon. So I don't know. We'll see what happens, I guess. And like I said, if I need to uh, time lapse this, I will. But I'm trying not to. I don't see this one as such a problem, you know. 
it's not like it's a a monster feel we got you know like you know two big passes left and that's it you know and then we got a bunch of small yeah we'll have some small ones from like this and the other side so or the middle whatever we're I'm gonna when I get time I'm gonna get that tree cutter and bring it over here we're gonna take out trees like that one there and get rid of that you know this thing is kind of overkill but uh, man it does a nice job I mean, it really can't complain about it um, we're just gonna raise this and It might mess up a little bit, but that's fine. We'll just clean it up. Yeah, see, we got that little indent over there. I'm not even sure we're going to even bother doing much with it. Because it's just going to grab everything else when we do it. So I don't know. But we'll just see what happens when we get over there. trying to get this so I don't have to make another pass coming back, you know. And I just, I feel like I'm, even though this thing is monstrous in size, I feel like, you know, it's uh, kind of stretching it, try to get that one little area. I know we got one spot left, but I didn't want to I didn't want to mess up my lines, you know. Yeah, this is where we're, we're going to kind of mess stuff up a little bit, but whatever, you know. We'll just uh, pull these over and not care, I guess. We, if we still, if we still have the small baler. Even though it constantly kicks out a bale all the time, I think we might just use it. I'm just going to kind of go out and turn around here like this and straighten that one, that line out and not care. But yeah, I think I think just for now the small baler is fine. This ain't, you know, this ain't that big monster feel we got on the other side or the one next to us, you know. I'm probably going to leave just a little bit here that I'm not going to, you know, try and straighten up here. Can we get it? Yep, okay. Well, that was interesting. I forgot that it, it folds that way and then folds up. I was thinking it folded up and then come in. Well, well, no big deal. So I'm going to park this somewhere, I think, uh, you know, since it's all used for the same thing, let's just keep them together. Like I said, we will do the far field, but we're not doing it today. Whoops. Um, and we'll do this one over here, but we're probably not doing that one today either. All right, so we've got the other baler. Um, it's probably going to wrap these. You know, because um, I don't know if there's a way to uh, to shut off the wrapper. But I really don't care. I mean, we can still... Did I turn it on? No, I did not. Sorry. Force a habit, you know, kind of thinking that it's already on. and uh, But I, I think we're going to get a forager for next time. Yeah, that's what I thought.
So we probably got another two or so uh, bales yet. You know, it's this thing is super small. You know, it's gonna go. We're gonna figure out one way or another how we're gonna get rid of it. Either we're gonna, you know, go with uh, the forager idea or something because uh, we're just getting to be, uh, you know, our grass fields aren't huge, but it'd be nice to be able to finish them, you know, in, in 15 minutes instead of 25. Let's put it that way. I think we get enough for maybe two more bales yet. Yeah, maybe we'll get this one, this row done. Okay. So when the next bale comes out, I'm just going to call it good and uh, go from there. If there's a little bit of grass in the machine, there's a little bit of grass in the machine. Because I don't think there's enough laying around. I mean, there is, but I don't know if I want to sit and mess with getting it off. I mean, we'll try, I guess. Uh, I kind of want to be done with it, you know. I, I love doing grass work, but it just kind of sucks when you get these small uh, machines and you keep forgetting to get rid of them, you know. But this one's going to stay on this tractor for now because I'm going to probably take it over in between episodes and sell it. Um, I want to go check on the, on the cotton. Because if it's close, we might finish it ourselves. I don't know if that's really considered close. Um, I mean, I could do it myself, you know, save us the hassle of, uh, of paying somebody anymore, but because um, we're not going to get any of the other fields really done. Actually, let's go ahead and look at that again. I'm thinking about, I was looking at the, I was thinking about it during the time. I mean, 18 foot cultivator really ain't that bad. I mean, yeah, it's not John Deere, and we wanted John Deere, but I couldn't find any John Deere ones on. So let's just go ahead, and uh, we're going to buy this. Um, only the big tractor is going to be, well, yeah, only the big tractor will be able to handle it, but we should be able to drag it back to uh, the thing with this, with the one that's over here. Yep, I think so. Um, we're not going to worry about it too much. Man, it's a... It looks huge compared to the one that we just had, and the other one was, you know, 12 and a half feet or something like that, you know? But this thing's 18 feet, so... If we do any fields, we're going to do the small field. Um... Because, yeah, I should be able to, uh... I think in a decent time lapse, we should be able to finish it, because, uh... We still got plenty of time. I mean, this whole video is going to be nothing but time lapses the way they've been going. So that's why I figured, you know, I'm going to drive over and talk while I'm uh, taking this one back. I, I mainly, my main goal is to get the cotton as close to done so that uh, when uh, I end the video, it's maybe got two or three passes left and I can just go over and watch it and let it finish type of thing, you know? Because, you know, we don't need to see the whole thing. We just need to see how many bales we get. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, for next time, I'm going to uh, get all the bales already stacked on there and go from there. I'm thinking about bringing the pickup over here and grabbing the, with the small trailer, just grab a couple of bales and take them over to the sheep. But I can do that off the, um, uh, you know, off camera. But um, I will let those actually, the rest of them actually mature to, uh, you know, to silage because we might as well make some good money off it while we're doing that. Like I said, we'll just get a different uh, baler or. We're going to get a trailer and start picking them up with trailers. Yeah, I don't think this field here would uh, would be done in a half an hour, and that's about all the time I've got left to record, so... 
but I'm definitely thinking this is going to take a lot of time off the, um, you know, time that it takes to actually finish the job. Let's put it that way. Um, I do want to, once we're done, once, uh, let's see, let's just take a look at that right now. Um, what I, when we're done selling, um, cotton, which is up here somewhere. I know it's here. Um, personally, I'd like to just buy the, the thing and, and keep growing cotton. Um, where's cotton? Right there. It's in August. We're in May right now, so we're only three months away. So that can sit on that trailer for three months, you know, not going to hurt nothing. And you know, we're looking at least 4,000 a, a ton, so I'm definitely thinking we're going to make our money off them, you know. You know, it's, you know, I know I said 40,000 we're going to make back on one bale, but I forgot that that thing was a round bale, so uh, kind of, you know, one of those things, you know. Let's see if I can get that noisy tractor further out. Um, but once that's done, once we sell that in three months or three episodes, you know, or four or whatever it is. Because um, I think what we're going to end up doing is next episode, we're going to, uh, we're going to end up kicking the clock ahead at the, at the begin, the beginning of that one and probably at the end as well, because uh, we really need to have the, you know. We need to start kicking the clock ahead or we're not going to get anything done, but, you know, it's not so bad right now doing this. You know, if we're in May for a few episodes, we're in May for a few episodes. Okay, that is definitely, I mean, 18 didn't sound like it was that much different from 12, you know, but, uh, you know, yeah, it's, you know, I knew it was bigger, but, oh, wow. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get all of this and whoops we might have to get it when we come up and around you know not knowing how this thing was gonna be tell you what I'm just gonna jump into the time-lapse and you can uh, watch the antics from the time-lapse and we'll just kind of go from there <laughs> gonna get the rest of this all in one pass I mean it took me a little bit to get used to how this thing turns and as you've seen I'm still trying to turn too sharp with it but that's not too big of a deal I guess you know but it did did definitely uh, make this a lot easier <laughs> Wow yeah it I mean it's definitely now what I'm I'm thinking about is when we do the big field I think I might have said something already um, I think we're going to lease a, this exact same tractor and another one of uh, 
this cultivator and then we'll uh, I'll run the one tractor all the way around the field on the outside and then hire someone to do it from the far side with the second tractor and then we'll we'll start from our side of the field and when it gets closer to this uh, get rid of the, the hired person the hired help but uh, that's probably a couple episodes off yet because uh, we've got you know quite a ways to go I mean we got to get this field done which I definitely think we're gonna be able to cultivate this field in one shot you know in less than an hour you know it normally takes an hour well I think it took 45 minutes but you know to do anything else with it and then uh, I think we're I've already I've been looking and I found uh, a really good John Deere um, harvester we're gonna get a harvester we're probably going to get a forager at some point the big money ones we'll just uh, lease to own and then the smaller ones will buy you know like this thing will buy it you know and uh, you know we may actually buy the second one for uh, uh, for doing that field because there's gonna be more than just that field that we're gonna have that are gonna be big if we keep uh, going but I want to thank everybody for coming uh, please like share follow uh, definitely make a comment you know let me know what you think and uh, we'll uh, see you guys next time